Hi guys and welcome to my video here on uh, our revising our map skills. Um, in this video, we're going to have a look at measuring a curved line distance, uh, which again comes up quite common in short questions uh, or can be quite useful to you if you're doing a 30 mark question based on maps. Um, it's very, very handy to be able to have the curved line distance skill as one that you can call on uh, as you do your exam. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to have a spare piece of paper uh, with you. If you don't have a spare piece of paper, you can always ask for one inside in the exam. I'm going to use the Temple Moore map uh, from 2019, and I'm going to get the straight line distance of the road, the R502. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so people can get a better view of what I'm doing. So usually inside in the exam, they give you uh, so they tell you clearly what you need to to, to get the straight uh, the curve line distance of, um, and they usually give you uh, start points, uh, so good references uh, to get you going. So I'm going to go with the R502, and you can see the R502 starts here, okay, and leaves the map down here. So I've got to get that curve line distance. So again, I'm going to get my piece of paper, and it's important that you line your piece of paper up uh, against the map and mark your start point. And it's always very useful to mark the map as well, I find, because it helps you keep track of your straight line. You line your piece of paper up against the, 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 the map uh, to keep as straight a line as possible. Okay, so I always mark the map and I mark the piece of paper. And that allows me to keep track of where I finished up on, on the map and where I need to start from when I'm lining my piece of paper up again. Okay, so you can see I'm marking both the paper and the map in this case. And I keep turning my piece of paper uh, in order to get as straight a line as possible. Uh, you can see there that I'm marking or tending to mark the straight line from the bottom line of the, the R502. Paper here again, marking the map, and I'm marking piece of paper. So I've gotten all the way here to my end point. Mark that as E. So now I know roughly what the straight line distance is uh, from the start to the finish point of the R502 on the map. Okay, so what I've got to do now, and you can see there where I've marked the map and the piece of paper. What I've got to do now is I've got to go to my legend. My legend comes with every map. I'm going to come down here to the bottom where it says scale. You see that there are two rulers uh, there on the part that says scale. Uh, we're concerned usually with the one that says kilometers. That's usually what they want the, the measurement in. So we're always probably going to go from kilometers. So I'm going to get my start point, put it up against uh, zero, and I'm going to mark off the nearest whole kilometer. So here's one, here's two, here's three. So I know it's at least three kilometers that stretch of road on the map. And you see that I've got a little bit left over here. Okay, so how do I measure that? I take it down here to the and we count out the little units of 10. So starting at three, I've got 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5. And you can see here we've got bang on 3.6 kilometers. So the distance of the 502 R502 is 3.6 kilometers. It's really important that you get the, the, the unit of measurement in there as well as kilometers. Without that, they dock your marks. Uh, so that's how you would uh, read a curved line distance.